My Panda, My Choice, Disney has officially lost their minds. Hey everyone, this is Kristen Hawkins. Welcome to this uh, How to Win This Week episode on the Explicitly Pro-Life podcast. I wrote an op-ed for Fox News and I've done some TV interviews recently about Disney's Turning Red movie. It's a short film. Well, I guess it's not really short. It's pretty long. I watched it, sadly. On Disney Plus um, of about a 13-year-old girl, May, and this coming-of-age story that uh, she turns into a panda when she experiences strong emotions which you know I have a 13 year old now they experience strong emotions all the time yes I am a mother of a teenager please send prayers um but what's interesting about this movie and I to be honest with you I don't watch Disney plus on a regular basis um my family are big fans of classic Disney we love classic Disney the world that Walt Disney built um but we really don't pay much attention to the new stuff coming out of Disney even the new movies um there was that Encanto I I don't think my daughter even saw Encanto we we watched Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and things like that um but it it's not a great film, and I think it's a very good wake-up call. Uh, this Red Panda um, uh, turning red movie. Um, I think it's important for parents to realize that you're going to have to screen even the content that's coming from Disney Plus before your children watch them. This is um, very interesting because it's almost like Disney didn't learn the lessons of New Coke. I don't know if you all remember when Coca-Cola came out with New Coke. Uh, back in the day, I remember I was a child with New Coke and it was like this huge flop. No one liked it. It was this one of the largest like um, marketing flops in like recent memory kind of feels like that like Disney hasn't really learned that lesson and so now they're like new Disney new and approved uh Disney and you know you can look at the turning red movie and say well you know yes May says my panda my choice which is obviously a nod to my body my choice rhetoric yes she's twerking and um you know crushing on a 17 year old boy as a 13 year old and yes there's some themes that we don't appreciate you could look at, if you just looked at that, I think a lot of parents would sort of look the other way or say, I mean, we're just not going to watch that movie. But then coupled with Disney's own internal Zoom call that was just released talking about Florida's sex education bill, how they're up in arms that people can't talk to kindergarten through third graders about sex. I mean, what type of people want to talk to kindergartners through third graders about sex? I think that's fundamentally the question that should be asked here. Um, but they had this whole like Zoom call with their employees about what it means when you can't talk to kindergartners to third graders about sex and how it's so harmful for society. They had Disney creators get on the Zoom call openly say that they are trying to insert the LGBTQ agenda into as many Disney movies as possible possible um and it, it, it's it's very um as a parent shocking because you know we especially m- my family we grew up with old disney we loved old disney my kids love old disney and then to see these disney world uh and disney employees these executives you know clearly stating how all the different ways they're transforming their business model and what they're doing to insert uh this very liberal agenda into their movies i think it's very shocking it's maddening um it's crazy when you think about the world walt disney you you know, said he was creating, there's a quote from Walt Disney. It says, I do not make films primarily for children. I make them for the child in all of us, whether we be six or 60, call the childhood and this call it childhood innocence. The worst of us is not without innocence, although deeply buried it might be. In my work, I try to reach and speak to that innocence, showing it the fun and joy of living, showing it that laughter is healthy, showing it that the human species although happily ridiculous at times, is still reaching for the stars. That's old Disney. This is certainly not new Disney. And it's, 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 um, scary that new Disney has so closely aligning itself with Planned Parenthood, um, Planned Parenthood's agenda, instead of being interested and being, um, 
a guardian of innocence of childhood by their own admission. They're actively pu- you know, pushing kids out of Neverland and directly into an adult sexualized world where they can be groomed for others' enjoyment and where, of course, they're going to end up um, in walking into the doors of those who prey um, upon their crisis Planned Parenthood. I mean, this is setting them up to be customers of what big abortions, big abortion and the big abortion industry has to sell. Um, and I think it's it's shocking for all of us. And it's a very good, I think, word of caution to parents about saying goodbye to new Disney, um, guarding the content that your children are consuming, even if it's on Disney Plus. Just because it says Disney now does not mean, mean it's safe. 